High traders S&P 500 which started the week with three days of declines rallied on Friday and ended up 0.2% weekly. The bulls received exactly what they hoped, a proof that the rally is based on profits. Three of the world's largest companies, Amazon, Microsoft and Google posted record profits, broke analyst forecasts and pushed the market to new record highs. Current reading of the US GDP shows annual growth of 3% versus expectations of only 2.5%. The result? The public flocks in droves and buy ETFs and shares not only in cash but also in increasing leverage. The significance as I said in the past few weeks is that there's still a lot of room for increased prices. And now it seems that we also receive the economic justification. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, I can see the uptrend and again new highs and look at the small pullback that we've seen at the beginning of the week. Uh, just a reminder, we haven't seen a 3 or more percent pullback since uh, the beginning of 2016, more than a year now. So in fact, uh, we are looking at a very clear uptrend and as usual, we need to follow the market as it goes. Uh, the uptrend is clear and again we're looking for longs. Let's take a look at last week picks. My first pick last week was FedEx long. FedEx did great, over 1.9%, however did not reach my first target. Just a reminder, my first target is always at 3% where I would sell 3 quarters and have a stop for the last quarter at the entry point. So FedEx doing well, hopefully the market will continue higher this week and uh, push FedEx to my first target. My second pick last week was HFC. HFC did not trigger. Still nice consolidation yields highs, still a nice candidate for this week or next week's, uh, but did not trigger last week. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Tyson Food, TSN Long. Tyson consolidates near the highs. I would like to go long over $72.22. Tyson is a food producer and distributor in the United States. And again, nice consolidation near the highs. Market continues higher. Therefore, Tyson will probably sometime move over the highs. And if it does, that's a nice breakout formation point. My second pick for the week is OLN Long. As you can see in the past few weeks, OLN moved to a new high very strongly. However, pulled back down, we call it retest. It retested breakout point. So it came down, retested, and now it's trying to move higher. That's a nice reversal point in OLN. I would like to take it long over $35.66. Uh, OLN is a manufacturer and distributor of chemical products in the US. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm taking a vacation now in Japan. So um, please be patient. See you next time. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.